liked about working with Elia is the fact that he knows exactly what he wants. There remained only some details as to how to embody his idea. He gave a clear description of what he imagined and how he sees the end result. Well, on the first sketches, props were supposed to be either rigid or inflatable. Some of the guys didn't like it visually. The choreographer and the director did not like that actors couldn't climb on them. And that was the interesting part of the play. Knowing the stage, you realize that actors need to be able to climb up to the second floor before the audience. In the business of making theater props, you will never experience the original idea remaining the same. It will always change. Every prop and decoration changes several times under the process of making them. New techniques were developed and end result was improved. Changes didn't make it worse, only better. One of the tasks that the director gave us was to create unique custom-made mirror frames. In this case, gold-plated, antique and worn. I suggested we use a material called papier-mâché. The reason we choose papier-mâché is simple. Working with that material allows you to keep the prop's original appearance as long as possible. I think I got the most interesting part in this project. As an artist and a sculptor, I had to create something amazing out of clay. My job was to make mirror glass from scratch. A lot of time was used developing the right technique and trying a variety of ways. I was consumed by my job. I really wanted to give it an authentic antique look. I came back from China just in time for the end of the project. Main techniques and materials were developed and all that was left was to implement and complete the project. A challenge, though, confronted us with the prop stairs for the stage. We had to think differently to reinforce the idea. Oh yeah, the stairs! In any play, you want to feel the atmosphere. Every object is interesting in its own way. In this one, the stairs were definitely interesting. No, really! This one was challenging and very complex. The challenge was to make the forest stairs in a way that would make the scenery come alive. So it did not look as if someone turned on the light bulb and that is it. We knew what the idea was but did not know how to implement this idea. It was decided at first that we would wrap around the ladder a highlighted fabric, but we ended up discovering a brand new technique for us. If you look closer at the technology, the materials such that the viewer would not understand at all how possible it is to light up a fabric like that. We had the right material in order to recreate a truly mysterious forest.
Because every object was created for acrobats to use, they not only had to be decorations but also secure enough. Also, they had to meet the safety requirements. That is why it was necessary to have a carefully planned approach to check every suspension and to make sure the clings would not unscrew and come off. I personally checked all this down to the smallest detail because I am acutely aware that people's lives are at stake here. You don't just deliver a project, prop or decoration and say, here it is, rehearse even if you do that. This will not be possible. There are lots of shades to consider, which means when the actors rehearse, so do we. The numerous requirements that arose in this project were perceived adequately. Everything was done quickly. We put ourselves in each other's shoes and that made collaboration much easier. That is always nice. I liked working with you guys because you don't use the word impossible in your vocabulary. This is absolutely the right approach. I'm allergic to that word and try not to deal with people who use it. Sometimes even outrageous and surreal requests are met with a smile in your company and you take the job. It was a great pleasure to work with you.